Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I'll be letting you know the lineups for the Chiefs vs Blues fixture that is coming up for Super Rugby Pacific. But if you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But nonetheless, let's get straight into these lineups. Okay, so this game, it is the second New Zealand game that has taken place on this Saturday. It will be 7.05pm kickoff at FMG Stadium. And this match, last time we did see it, it was extremely close. And I believe in that one, the Blues were able to get themselves the win. Whereas this time, who knows, maybe the Chiefs with the home field advantage will be able to turn it around. But looking through at the lineups, we will start with the Chiefs. And they are going to be as follows. Number one, Aiden Ross. Number two, Samasoni Takiaho. And then number three, it is Angus Tarval. In the locks, it will be Nato Akoi, who does slot in at number four. And then at number five, they have got the youngster, Josh Lord, who already has an All Blacks cap to his name. And will be trying to find some good form heading into the end of Super Rugby, because who knows? The Irish tour is just around the corner, and everyone will be jockeying for those positions to be able to play up against the Irish. Next, we look at the loose forward trio. Number six, Caelan Boshi. And number seven, it is the Coke captain Sam Kane and then at number eight it is Peter Gassoakula who is always dangerous and ever since he scored that try in one of the opening rounds seems like he's really been able to find a good vein of form perhaps he could also make a running for the All Blacks number eight position. Now the back line it will be Brad we were at number nine the other co-captain and then at number ten it is Bryn Gatlin so once again they are switching between Ioani and Gatlin for their fly half option. Number 11 is the quick step in at 10 Nana Satoru who always can make your meters down the wing even when there's minimal space he will be able to have an impact. The 12 for this game it is Alex Nankervell with number 13. Ben Anton Leonard Brown number 14 it is back to Imoni Narua. He has actually been switching between right wing and fullback throughout the season. Something similar to what we've seen from Sam Gilbert at the Highlanders. But now he is starting out on the right wing for this game and then number 15 it will be Caleb Trask and he closes out the Chiefs starting lineup. Now we look through at the reserves and they are going to be as follows. Number 16 it is Bradley Slater. Number 17 Ollie Norris and then number 18 it will be George Dyer. Number 19 they have got Summer Penny Finau who was slotting in at 8 a couple weeks ago now coming off the bench probably as a lock replacement for this game although there's no sign of Tupo Va'ai so I'm not too sure whether or not that is injury or maybe just resting him for a future match. Then at number 20 a man who's just come back from a long layoff, it is Luke Jacobson. Number 21, it will be Cortez Ratama. Number 22, they have got Quinto Bayo. Normally starts, but will be coming off the bench for this game. And then number 23, to close out the Chiefs starting lineup and reserves, it is going to be Chase Tia to you. Again, slot in at wing or fullback if they do need him in the later stages. But nonetheless, that is the home side, the Chiefs. Now we look through at the away side in this game, the Blues. And they are going to be as follows. Number one, Alex Hodgman. Number two, Kerr Eklund. And number three, it is Offa Tonga Fasi. Now looking through at the locks, number four, it will be Luke Romano. And then number five, they have got Josh Goodhue. The loose forward trio for the Blues. It is a very strong one this week. You'd have to argue almost the strongest that they could put out with current injuries, etc. that are going on. I'm talking about Akira Ioane missing out. But other than that, for this combo, it is absolutely sensational. Number six, Tom Robertson, number seven, Dalton Pavali, and then number eight, it is Hoskins Atutu. So they will be dangerous throughout this game. And if they can really have an impact in that breakdown, I would say they get quite a few turnovers between the three of them. Now looking through at the back line, number nine, it will be Finley Christie. And number 10, the return of Bowden Barrett. He's had a couple injury troubles and also was out earlier in the season with sickness, but now he's back and rearing to go at fly half. The back line, it will be a little bit different. That is due to the fact that Caleb Clark. He is suspended for three weeks, so that is why he's not out on the left wing. So because of that, it is going to be Mark Dallaire who does slot in in the number 11 jersey. Number 12 for this game, it will be Bryce Heem with number 13 being Rico Ioane, who will be important to link up with Heem throughout the midfield of this match. Then number 14, it is Jacob Rotomaitavuki Nipkins. And then to close out the starting lineup, the man in form, it is going to be Steven Petafeta. That is their starting lineup for the Blues. So now we look through at the reserves, and they are going to be as follows. Number 16, Ricky Riccatelli. Number 17, Jordan Lay. And number 18, Marcel Renata. Then number 19, it will be James Tucker. Number 20, Adrian Cho. 21, will be Sam Knock. 22, Taniello Talia. And then at number 23, a man who scored a try not too long ago. It is going to be AJ Lamb who does get that opportunity to come off the bench in the later stages. And that is the starting lineup for both of the sides. So hopefully it is going to be an exciting game. Like I mentioned, the second game on Saturday, 7.05pm. And that will be played at FMG Stadium following the game between the Hurricanes and the Crusaders for the Saturday. And then after that, we've actually got Fiji and Drua versus Brumbies. So it is going to be an awesome day of rugby. The Champions Cup, the URC, you name it. It's all happening alongside some sevens as well, which we are going to be covering as much of that on the channel 
as we possibly can. But nonetheless, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all for the next one.